Strike. And now the uh, and the orange hour glass is about to uh, run out. And I'm doing cricket commentary. It's very <laughs> understated. So. No, you have to I, do. I remember an hour glass running out like that in 1732. No. <laughs> Real time game needs to be simple, right, Tarrant? Ideally. Ideally. Well, does kite do that? Now we are going to show you how it plays, what we think of it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella here from Mibul University. Welcome to our channel for a review. And today we are excited to share you Kites. I think this is one of the popular Gen Con 2022 release yes. from Floodgate Games. Floodgate Games. Floodgate Games. Thank you. So, we are going to share you what is it about and then share you what we think about. Indeed. So how does this play? It's hourglasses. That means it's real time, and that um, that can be a scary prospect, can't it? <laughs> um, essentially, these are six different six hourglasses of different lengths. I think this one actually is meant to be sort of in here. It's in rainbow waters, so the red is I think thirty seconds, forty five. I think these are both a minute. It goes up to two minutes. It looks like it's not one. much in there. It may yeah, be it can be seconds. deceptive because the um, the necks are not. Uh, That's actually true. Not always the same. So, to start the game, everyone will have a number of cards, depending on your play count, and then you flip the, flip the timers. Whee! And it's basically about keeping all the kites in the air. Yeah, I think um, you have five it, in two players. I think so. Yeah, I think so. So, it's keep all the kites in the air. It's almost, I think, thematically, like the spinning plates on top of the sticks might be a, a better analog. But essentially, yeah. you you watch them, and then... At any point, you can play a card and flip that hourglass okay. and then draw a new card. And then it goes to the next player. So I will choose to play this one. Whee! This two, which is almost runs out. We'll make sure that things don't run out. Run out. And then yep. I take the card and go. So you have some that flip one and some that flip two. So I could play that and flip these. <laughs> and there are no cards for the white. Hourglass, so you have to play. It's just just like in a moment that red okay. almost finished. Yep. So you have to play any card that uh, only has one kite on it to flip the white. Yep. I will do this again, and I think yep. I'll almost make it dead because I flipped the red again so quickly. <laughs> and that's the that's game. It. Yeah. Basically, your aim is to get through the whole deck. Uh, when the draw deck is empty, you can't flip the white anymore, and then it's a race to get it finished. Um, so yeah, it is a it is a combined real time and a turn based game. You you can't jump ahead of somebody. You can communicate completely. So it can be people sitting around the table yelling at each other. You know, I've and it's I've got <laughs> I've got red and orange. Um, just play something quickly, and I'll do both of those. And um, yeah, it's all about all about keeping them up. Yep. So that is the game. It's what that do you think? Simple. What do you think, Taryn? I think this is the new benchmark in real-time gaming. Ooh, Honestly, it's that it's that high up on my list. And I know we've yeah you know, we've had a f we've done reviews on real-time games before. I actually think I think our first review video was for Pendulum. I think that might have been for where real we, time. I thought yeah. that is. I think our first review video was Pendulum. I oh, think that wow. was where we started um, doing this series, but. Yeah, I've always said in reviews of real-time games that the biggest issue any real-time game has is that there's no time to stop and re-explain a rule to somebody. Everyone has to know all the rules for it to work. And this has like three rules, and it's really fun. And so it is exactly what a real-time game needs to be. So uh, that is a big thing as well, the benchmark of a real-time game. I think somebody should quote Floodgate Games should quote that. The benchmark of a real-time game. It was really fun, as you say. However, I think I would not recommend playing it with two players. So playing with two players, it feels still fun, but a little, more, a little bit more stressful. you just like, between two people, OK, it's my turn again. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do next? Like that, rather than like, OK, like collaborate with others. Like, you do this, you do that, you do that. It's more, it's harder with higher play accounts. It's actually easier with two play accounts. I seems to have won all the games for the two player games. 
Have you played two, two player games? I haven't played I two player. No, I, I don't I've think only, I've played with you. I've yeah. only played five or six player uh, at meetups. Yeah. And haven't won. Haven't won it. <laughs> but um, it's it. You know, it's had that interaction, and mm -hmm. it's been really simple to play. And on all of my two player game, two player games, I have won. But we did not use the extra cards. Let's just show the extra cards now. Yep, so there are a few challenge cards you can add in. Um, flying a kite near aeroplanes is noisy, so when you, uh, when you get one of these special cards, you have to play it next time it's your turn. And it, ha it doesn't flip any hourglasses and it has a negative effect. So this one, uh, you're not allowed to communicate for one round until everyone has had a turn. Uh, the crossed wires, everyone has to give one card to the player on their left and one to the player on their right, so it just <laughs> throws chaos in. And then the storm... You must announce first, right? Storm is coming! And then the next one. Yep, so the storm, you, you will know it's coming and uh, you have to play it and flip all the hourglasses at once. It's, I, do in, I do like the fact that you have to announce it so everyone can coordinate in trying to yeah. prepare the fact that we have to flip all of these at once. It could help as well. It's only for the storms. You're not allowed to prepare, yeah. you're not allowed to That's prepare true. people for these two. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you think about what these cards add. It's like a fourth rule if you play with one of them. So it still keeps the game simple and quick. I would say but don't. it adds this extra layer of chaos. I, was, I would say don't use the chaos cards first, the first time you play. No, of course M not. Maybe win first. You build up to it. Exactly. It's, it's a really fun game. Definitely recommend hype at least three players, although it plays up two players. I mean, from two players. It's still fun, don't get me wrong, but higher player counts definitely is harder and more fun, I think. I mean, you could play it solo as well, right? You hold two hands and just put one down on the table. That eats a bit of time up. There's no solo rules, but I'm, I don't think there's solo rules, but there's no reason you couldn't play it two-handed solo and yeah. um, have fun with it as well. That's actually true. I mean, would you play it solo? Did you pick up at Gen Con? Maybe somebody will play it. Maybe you should try to play solo. Maybe our friend Henry from Hen Solo, I don't know if you watch any of these videos, play solo. Two hands. It'll be so stressful. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> can you imagine? Like, two players already, like, oh, it's my turn, my turn, my turn. And then it's like, oh no, all my turns. I don't have time to breathe. Eh. Tumbling. Yeah. It wouldn't be a very entertaining video because it would be very focus, focus heavy. You'd need a commentator on this. <laughs> you would be the commentator. You're good at that. It's like, and now the, uh, and the orange hourglass is about to uh, run out. And I'm doing cricket commentary. It's very <laughs> understated. So. No, you have to I, do. I remember an hourglass running out like that in 1732. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should have the more like the footy one. Like, play all good. Wowee, it's about to run out. Wowee. What's wowee? That's something Brian Taylor says because... Who's Brian Taylor? He's a very annoying commentator. Shh. Don't tell it. It's not a review about <laughs> Brian Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> We've... I think we've gone off topic yes. enough. Yes, so I think it would be a good game as well for somebody who commentate that while everyone is busy. You're like, yeah, and everyone's like, what happens with the white one? The white one was like, oh no, the storm card is out, everybody, the storm card is out. Ah, uh, they're going to die. Everyone's going to finish, all the kites going to go on the ground. Like that. Yeah. It's more realistic than like... <laughs> <laughs> and we're going off for a rain delay with this storm. <laughs> And all the hourglasses. That's like the pilot announcing on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> so you Attention think... people, there are five kites in front of us. We're going to make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> so it's definitely can play that way. So it's definitely a fun game either way. And definitely will play it. And it's definitely a great game for meetup, board game meetup. Plays a lot of people. It's so fun. And I probably won't play two players again now that um, because I started off playing with two players and then play with multiple, like more number of players. I mean, yep. definitely fun. Yes. So yes, let us know if you if you know any other real time games, preferably cooperative, that is easy but then challenging enough and fun. Let us know yes. in the comments, please. And that is it. Anything else, Aaron? No, that's all. Thanks so much for watching. 
the uh, the review of kites. Hopefully, you enjoy that. And if you find this helpful, if you want us to do more review or feed review videos like this, please help us by hitting the like buttons, comments, and subscribe to us. Hit the bell on the meeple somewhere there. Maybe at the bottom of the video, actually. I'm also on Instagram for my board games journey, and hopefully, we'll see you next time. Bye.